Today, we explore John D. Rockefeller's incredible rise from meager beginnings to the pinnacle of wealth as the world's first billionaire. How did he achieve this towering success? Join me as we uncover the story of Rockefeller's relentless ambition, shrewd strategies, and determination to climb from humble roots to the very top. A true epitome of the American dream, his tale remains one of business grit, vision, and making the most of opportunity. John Dee's path to success began in the bustling neighborhoods of Cleveland. Growing up in the 1840s wasn't easy, but adversity can strengthen one's ambition. Even as a young lad, John showed his scrappy spirit. He was always finding work to help support his family. While some boys his age may have wandered the docks dreaming, John saw opportunities where others saw only child's chores. By his teenage years, that drive had earned him a reputation as a go-getter folks could rely on. John was determined to do whatever it took to help his family get by. And though tiresome, the long days left him curious about the wider world of business unfolding all around. College was a chance to stretch his wings and stretch them John did. With books as his guides, clever John soaked up all he could on bookkeeping bills and the like. These lessons would serve him well in the decades to come, but for now they lit a fire in a boy that no one stopped. After graduating top of his class, John was itching to put lessons to work in the real world. By his early twenties, while neighbors raised brows at such big plans so soon, John had his eye on pioneering fields like oil. Through savvy bets and persistence that would define his career, young Rockefeller began building an empire from the ground up. His journey was just starting in those Ohio streets, but the early roots of ambition had already taken hold. The 1860s saw America's oil boom transform the growing nation, and shrewd Rockefeller knew an opportunity when he saw it. In 1863, the young businessmen co-founded Rockefeller and Andrews in Cleveland, a refining business that would become the foundation of his empire. Through strategic partnerships and acquisitions of rivals over the ensuing years amidst cutthroat competition, his company rapidly grew. By 1870, John had incorporated Standard Oil of Ohio and was revolutionizing the refining process itself through innovative technologies. His use of fractional distillation enabled the industry's first ever kerosene to be refined on a massive scale. Standard Oil was now producing over 10,000 barrels of oil per day, more than all its competitors combined. Within the decade, Rockefeller had consolidated over 40 oil companies under his monopoly, through aggressive pricing strategies like rebates on railway freight charges, Standard Oil demolished competitors and came to control 90% of America's refineries. Rockefeller was a business visionary who saw oil's potential when others saw only an untamable industry. By forming the first ever trust, a horizontal conglomerate combining previously competitive companies, he created the powerful Standard Oil Trust in 1882. This innovative business organization structure allowed unparalleled coordination that kept prices low and profits high. In just two decades, John D. Rockefeller had transformed from a humble bookkeeper to the undisputed king of big oil and the richest man who had ever walked the earth. His company Standard Oil would revolutionize the global petroleum industry for over a century to come. The industrial era saw many influential titans emerge whose ambitions and innovations helped shape America's economic ascendancy. Among the most impactful were John D. Rockefeller and G.P. Morgan, whose careers became intertwined as they amassed tremendous wealth and power in the oil and railroad industries. Rockefeller got his start in Cleveland as a young bookkeeper, but he had lofty aspirations. Through savvy business strategies like vertical integration, he consolidated smaller oil refineries under the Standard Oil brand. By the 1880s, Standard controlled approximately 90% of America's oil refining capacity. Rockefeller pioneered techniques such as secret rebates from railroad companies, undercutting competitors' shipping costs. As Rockefeller expanded his oil empire, J.P. Morgan was making his own mark on Wall Street. A shrewd banker and financier, Morgan provided capital for many large-scale infrastructure projects, including railroad expansion. He recognized the immense profits to be had in transportation and helped consolidate weaker rail lines. This brought Morgan into conflict and cooperation with Rockefeller over the years. On one hand, 
Morgan's railroads aided the transportation of Rockefeller's oil, helping fuel standards grow. But Rockefeller's secret rebates also inflated costs for Morgan's other railroad clients and industrial interests. This led to some financial disputes between the tycoons as their business interests diverged at times. However, their shared views on bringing order and efficiency to industries often brought them together in strategic partnerships as well. While their rivalry was at points adversarial, Rockefeller and Morgan also aligned to lobby against regulations that might curb their dominance. Nevertheless, as Standard Oil and Morgan's railroad trust grew into ever larger monopolies, public resentment mounted over their unbridled economic power and influence. They faced increasing scrutiny from reformers and the federal government. By the early 20th century, the Supreme Court ruled Standard Oil in violation of antitrust laws and broke up its monopoly. However, Rockefeller had long since retired, leaving a massive fortune and indelible mark as one of the era's most cutthroat yet transformative businessmen. Along with Morgan, he came to symbolize both the unchecked power of robber barons and the innovative spirit of American free enterprise during its gilded age of industrialization. While John D. Rockefeller achieved great wealth, he knew its true power lay not in possessions but service to others. Let us go forward, courageously resolve to play our part worthily in building a better world. Through careful giving, he aimed to uplift communities worldwide, and what amazing good came of it. The Rockefeller Foundation first took shape in the early 1900s, when John began pouring millions into the places folks needed it most. Healthcare for all was his dream, so he funded research to conquer dreadful diseases. Top schools received generous gifts too, ensuring folk had access to education whatever their station. Even in retirement, John kept close watch on the foundation. Folks from Italy to the Philippines found help through sanitation projects. New hospitals and labs springing up worked their magic too. Why? His donations paved the way for life-saving vaccinations we enjoy today. Now the foundation just keeps on keeping on, finding solutions to challenges like COVID with caring folk working hard as John did. Seems he wanted not just a name for himself in books, but to leave the world a little brighter for all people. And with organizations still lending helping hands around the globe, I'd say his kindness just keeps on giving even after all these years. A right fine legacy if ever I saw one. John knew that true success is about more than just wealth and power. It's about using your resources and influence to help others. By funding medical research, education initiatives, and global aid projects, John left an enduring philanthropic legacy that has undoubtedly saved millions of lives over the past century. His generosity of spirit continues to uplift communities worldwide through the good work of the Rockefeller Foundation. What a shining example of using wealth and privilege to make a meaningful difference in people's lives. Now let's talk business. What lessons can we learn from John D's story career? Things were grittier in his day to be sure, but folks still strive and dream the world over. Seeing potential where others see only problems is key, just as Rockefeller spied in that their oil. Take risks and be bold, but have a cool head for strategy too. John wasn't afraid to work panther hard whether building or bargaining, and our efforts are what echoes down years hence. Then there's using what you have, he turned book learning and savings into the formula that fueled standard. Dedication and thrift will take anyone far if dreams are their flame. Nor should we scorn cooperation, as John found strength in unity whilst staying true to his North Star. Children or retirees, our gifts can sow joy for generations. And joy is what life bears out if community and conscience guide our hands. Why, just look at the good still being done thanks to one man's kindness all these years later. John knew that to truly succeed in business, you need more than just a good idea. You need perseverance, hard work, smart strategies, and the willingness to take intelligent risks. He worked tirelessly to expand his operations and never stopped striving to build something bigger and better. John also understood the power of cooperation. He partnered with other businessmen when it was mutually beneficial. And throughout it all, he stayed guided by his principles and vision. John saw that success was about more than just wealth and power. It was an opportunity to give back and create positive change in the world. So chart your course, brave folks. 
Yours could be the next name that inspires. Keep your eyes on the sky, feet on earth, heart open as Rockefeller, and just watch fortunes unfold. Well, folks, hope you found some motivation from John D's amazing story. Remember to chase your big dreams. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more inspiring tales that'll stoke the fire in your belly. Tell your friends and family too. Tune in next time for more adventures. Now get out there and start climbing your mountains like Rockefeller. I just know great things are waiting for you.